Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about just very, very, very basic Google SketchUp navigation. Now, these tools here do a number of different things, but the ones we're going to talk about right now is the hand tool, which allows you to move around like this. This tool, which is the orbit tool, which allows you to move around inside the thing. And this tool right here, which is allows you to either zoom in or zoom out. All right. So those are your basic tools. You also have these tools down here where you can look at it from a perspective view, top view, front view, side view. All right, and you notice that we're looking at our little friend here, Blaine, from different angles. All right, now actually his name is not Blaine, it's Bryce. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the perspective view. And what we're gonna do is we are going to be making a very, very basic building. Now, if we were doing a project like this and we were doing it, for instance, in my CAD class where accuracy matters, I would be a little worried and I would make sure that you guys were doing it exactly the way it was supposed to be done. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to just make it and we're going to eyeball it. Now work on the assumption that Bla uh, Bryce here is six feet tall. We're going to want a building that has about 10 foot ceilings. So I'm going to start here and you notice how it snaps to the origin. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag up here. I've got the plane tool. And then I click and I drag it out like this. All right, so this is probably going to be a couple of classrooms. All right, so I've created, this is the start of my building. You guys can be much more elaborate than this if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna click on this tool and zoom. Oops, nope, that wasn't right. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the black arrow to select the top face. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude this building up. Now, actually, I want to rotate around because I want to be looking at, I want to be able to see Blaine's height relative to my building because I want it to be, say, roughly twice his height. So I'm going to click the extrude tool and I can push or pull it like this to make a building that's twice his height. Now, if you actually notice down in the corner, you notice that I went from 15 feet, 10 inches to 14 feet. By the way, very hard to do this by hand. If you want, you can just simply type in what you want it to be. All right, and you can also adjust it that way. All right, so anyway, so we now have our building. I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna look at it. And unfortunately, I'm looking at this building. It's like, well, yeah, but it's just a cube now. All right, so the very simple thing we can do, and this is fun. I'm gonna take the black arrow, I'm gonna to to click on the top face and presto change o, hit the delete button. Boom, and now we have a cube. All right, now remember this building was like about 35 feet. A typical room is gonna be about 15 feet. Now I'm going to be one of these super duper creative kind of guys. I'm not gonna make big room dividers. I'm gonna make small room dividers. So in other words, you can actually kind of see over them. All right, that's, an, that's a kind of educational theory that works. So I'm gonna go right to the, you notice it snaps. It tells me this is the end. And I move over, this is the midpoint. I'm now drawing a line in the middle and I'm gonna click drag, click, and I'm going to move like this. And I've created a new, a new, like a petition that's going to divide these two rooms in half. All right. Now all I do is I have to select this guy here and I want to make the measurements on this a certain height. So I'm going to go extrude and I'm going to type in, I want this to be say five hash mark. Whoops. I have to click down here. I'm having a, oh, there we go. I'm gonna type in five feet, there. So now if you take a look at this and I rotate it around, you're gonna see, okay, so I have my little petition there in my building, all right? And that's how you draw and create things. Now, that's fun, but you know, I wanna, there's other things that you can do with Google SketchUp that are actually equally cool. And we're gonna be talking about painting and doing those other things. But the last thing I wanna show you, this is how you're gonna draw in walls and stuff like that. And I'm gonna draw all my different walls in different ways. Um, maybe I'm gonna put in another one like this, you know, where I go click, click, drag. And these, by the way, these are gigantically thick walls. I'm just doing this because I want to um, be able to, um, show you how to do it. I'm going to leave it to you to figure out what you want to actually do. Extrude and I'm going to type in say how about eight feet. Whoops, down here. Click. Oh, there we go. I'm actually splitting the thing in half. All right, and that's the height is 14 feet and I can always adjust this later on if I want. 
Okay, so there we go. So there's my room. All right, that's your basic design. That's how you make your basic building here. I'm going to talk about painting other things in a little bit uh, in a minute so we can do more.